Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. In this video, I would like to talk about a really good blood test for detecting underlying inflammation. And I believe that this blood test is actually underutilized. I really like using this blood test in a variety of my patients, both in an inpatient setting in the hospital and as an outpatient. Inflammation obviously underlies so many illnesses out there. Basically, every organ system could be affected by inflammation, and there's some who might say that underlying inflammation is actually at the root of nearly all diseases out there. So think about that. Having a blood test that picks this up is really good. So what is this blood test then? Well, it is known as CRP, C-reactive protein. And it's a blood test that has actually been around for a long time. C-reactive protein is secreted by the liver in response to inflammation. And I find it a really good initial screening tool almost to detect underlying inflammation. It's not specific. It won't give you an exact diagnosis, but it will often tell you that something is wrong. What number should you be looking for then with a CRP? Well, an ideal number is less than one. That's a normal number. If it's minimally elevated, like five or six, it might not tell you very much. If it starts getting up into the high double digits or even greater than 100, it really indicates that something is wrong, something inflammatory. And it could be basically almost any condition at all. It could be inflammation of the joints. It could be inflammation within the intestines, like an inflammatory bowel issue. It could be an acute cardiac issue. And it could be infection, sepsis. That's one of the most common reasons that CRP is elevated in response to infection. And I find that we underutilize this test. Now, there are some institutions, there are some doctors who really like using CRP like I do, but there are many who don't. But I find it an amazing, simple test to get to basically tell you that something is wrong. Now, as an outpatient, you will often get a number of different blood tests ordered by your doctor, including a complete blood count to look at hemoglobin, white cell count, you'll get a complete metabolic panel to look at renal function and kidney function, but CRP is rarely routinely ordered, but I find it an excellent test, especially if there's any concerns about any symptoms. And in the hospital, I find this an even better test to detect that something is wrong. And frequently, other markers like white cell count will be completely normal, but CRP will be elevated and they will tell you that something is wrong. And as you treat an illness, whatever that illness is, it could be something inflammatory, it could be an infection. As you treat that illness, you will see the CRP start to trend down. And that indicates that the treatment is successful and the patient is getting better. So what would my advice to you be? If you haven't had this blood test and there's any concern about any symptoms that could be inflammatory in nature, it's a good test to speak to your doctor about. Again, I stress, it won't give you the diagnosis, but it will tell you that something is wrong. And I've seen people who have a number of tests done and everything looks normal and then the CRP will be done. It'll be elevated, it'll be in the high double digits or even over 100 and it will really indicate that something is wrong and worthy of further investigation. And keep in mind that there are other illnesses out there that can elevate the CRP, other chronic comorbidities, even obesity, having excess body fat, which is basically low-level inflammation, can take the CRP up. It shouldn't take it up by a great deal, but it will take it up a little bit. So keep that in mind as well. CRP, C-reactive protein, an excellent blood test that I use all the time and I find it really helps me to figure out whether something is going on of an inflammatory nature and help to guide further tests and investigations if needed. C-reactive protein, CRP, remember that blood test. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you have any experience with CRP? Have you had the blood test done before? Or are you going to speak to your doctor about the CRP blood test? feel free to comment down below. Check out my online academy and my uncensored platform. Those links are down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will speak again very soon.